When I did the Aberlestock Jackknife Pack review a couple of months ago, I got a comment from Daniel Hogue 1518 and he asked me to make a video dedicated to the Bandit and my experiences with it because I drew some comparisons between the Bandit and the Jackknife. So Daniel, here you go man, you asked for it, you got it. So my experiences with this bag. Um, I picked this one up uh, a little bit over a year ago when I was on a deployment. That's why I got it in multicam so I could wear it in uniform. It was my personal bag. I wasn't using it for like operations. I wasn't issued this bag. I bought it with my own money. It's about 149 bucks on a Burley Stocks website. In my opinion, it's worth every single cent of that. I use this thing every single day while I was over there. And now that I'm back home, I use it as my oh shit kit in my car. And I'll talk about that a little bit more. But uh, as of right now, you see I have the Burley Stock Inditech IFAC strapped to the front of this. That's because we were required to carry first aid kits, obviously. And now I keep this in my car at all times. Uh, side note. I highly recommend having a first aid kit in your car. Um, it just happened to be a couple months ago. I was driving through Utah and saw a fatal car crash and I was able to hop out with this med kit and was able to uh, help one of the victims until paramedics showed up. So just my personal recommend uh, recommendation, travel with a uh, first aid kit, not just for your use, but to help other people as well, as long as you're trained on it. If you would like me to do a review on the end attack, I absolutely will. Just let me know in the comments below. I'll go through what supplies I have in here. And uh, yeah, let me know. But back to the bandit, you can see that a molly cut front panel for added storage like I already showed you. It's just buckled onto the front of the bag here. On the sides of the bag, you just have little water bottle pockets with a drawstring cinch. And then you have some like carabiner clips or like fast molly attachments. And uh, that's the same on both sides of the bag. And then even on the bottom of the bag, they added these little carabiner clips or fast molly clips. So you can add extra storage to the bottom of your bag as well, which is pretty cool. And then on the top, you have the same little straps. So what we're getting at here is even though this bag is only 825 cubic inches in volume, Abrilla Stock made sure you can expand it out just about as much as you could ask for. And the best way I can describe this thing is it's like the little backpack that could. Um, I've used it for everything, like I said, from deployments to medical, to having like swim gear in it, uh, camera equipment, tripods on the side, like filling it with groceries at the store, you name it, I've used these packs for it. A Burla stock made them very versatile and I highly recommend them. So getting into the back of the bag, we have the classic adjustable yoke and shoulder straps um, with the load lifters on them as well. A tiny little carry handle that is useful but it's not padded but it's functional as well as the uh, sternum straps. And there's even room to have a uh, hip belt added in the bottom of the pack. It's very versatile. It's over padded for how small this pack is, but that just makes it extra comfortable and I love it. Getting into the top compartment of the pack, this is a little organization area. And like I said, I have this as my like overnight accident kit. Um, so I've got some like high calorie snacks and uh, some toiletries in there and just more snacks. <clears throat> So when we get into this pocket, we can see that we have a mesh zippered area as well as a little Velcro pocket for a pistol magazine or for a multi-tool and then a little keychain ring as well. And it's definitely big enough that you could fit your phone, wallet, keys, everything like that in there as well. So we'll zip that up. And then when we get into the main compartment, you can either keep the side uh, straps buckled, which means it'll only open up like a top flap. Or if you want to really pull this bag all the way open, just undo those buckles and you can really get into it, which I really like being able to pull a bag completely open like this and lay it on a table like I am right now and be able to pack it and see what you have in it. So on the lid itself, it has that nice Velcro 
So you can put any kind of like patches or any kind of like Velcro magazine holders or a holster in there. And then, like I said, this is my oh shit kit and my terms of that are just like I have to spend a night somewhere other than home that I'm not expecting. So I've got a pair of weatherproof pants that look nice enough to wear around in public. Um, a polo shirt, it's like if I'm at the office and the guys decide to go get dinner, I kind of have a change of clothes with me all the time. They can go out and not be uh, wearing like gym clothes or something like that. An extra pair of gym clothes in case I forget to pack mine and something to sleep in um, if I do spend the night. Extra pair of underwear, obviously. Extra pair of boot socks because if I go to the gym in the morning, I always forget to pack socks. So those have come in handy a few times. Um, a beanie, if I'm sleeping in my Jeep, it's usually pretty cold, keeping warm. And also if you happen to be in a car accident yourself, unfortunately, and it's cold out, uh, waiting for law enforcement outside your vehicle, staying warm is good. Um, a pair of normal socks, and then some uh, towelettes and a towel to take a quick shower in the car, stay clean, and then just like some water and other snacks, things like that. So getting into the pockets in the main section of the bag, you have your camelback bladder area along with the camelback strap. You have some pistol mag size elastic straps on one side and then a smaller elastic pocket down in the bottom that you could fit some food or like I said, some um, socks and clothes and stuff in. And then a larger pocket on the opposite side that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. You can fit a lot of things in there as well. So overall it's very, very well organized for how small this bag is. And just as another example as to what I have in the second pack I use and how else you could utilize it. I just have my Nalgene on one side, my camera tripod on the other, just to show you uh, what that would look like if that's your intended use. And then right now I've got this set up carrying all of my pool gear. So I can just take this to like the pool deck and I've got my swim jammers, a full size towel, my mini fins with my goggles, and then my shower shoes. And uh, that's what I've got in there. Um, like I said, absolutely love these bags. I have two of them. I use them all the time. That should say everything you need to know about my opinion on this thing. So Daniel Hogue, if you have any more questions for me, dude, please let me know. If any, uh, any other of you have questions, please put them in the comments below. For my subscribers, look forward to my next video where I'm going to be doing a first look on my new North Face Voyager 42 liter uh, base camp duffel, as well as the one two month review of the Patagonia Black Hole MLC 30 liter bag that I have. So if you'd like to see those videos, uh, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share these videos all you can. And until then, stay safe and try to challenge yourself with something new. See ya.